strap into your time machine. Because we're going on a trip through time and space. Yes, hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. This is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. It started up there with Earthbound in the Final Fantasy series. Granted, I don't enjoy it as, as much as a Final Fantasy series, but it is definitely up there. It is a quite an amazing game and pretty well known. If you haven't played this one yet, I think it's wrong with you. Seriously. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, though, I'm playing the PlayStation 1 version, as you can tell from the beginning of this video. Yeti! I kind of prefer this version over all three versions. And when I say all three versions, I mean the, um, PS version, Super Nintendo version, and this version. Well, primarily because of all the um, beautiful cutscenes, like including that badass dude, we'll get him much later. Just gonna use the master. And a reason why I kind of prefer this over the DS version, it's just my personal opinion, but we'll get into it. Fairly soon in the game, actually. He's one of my favorite characters. But I'm really great. Well then, you're sitting here in the second. But, with all that said and done, I said everything I needed to say for now. And that's how thing 666A you would say. Let's get stuck into it. Chrono Trigger. Oh my god, there are lots of smoke. There's a bunch of bombs going up! No. It's just about to balloon just going into the sky. <laughs> Could it be a celebration of some kind? Maybe. Possibly. Potentially in the square. Maybe in the title of the video. Okay, I'll stop being so coy. Chrono. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Yes, the main character here, or the main protagonist, is Chrono. You can name him whatever you want. I'm just going to be going with um, the default names. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Ah, uh, Lini's ball makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Melio you know, Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I mean, you behave yourself. As a wriggling plant in bed! Yummy! <laughs> now, when I first played this game... Like, heck, heck, even now! While Cardo's in bread, uh, bed, not bread, bed! Yummy! <laughs> kinda looks like he's just, um... Wriggling plant. <laughs> That's just me, though. Uh, oh well. See, it's going on here. There's not all that many interesting things here. Got something that kind of looks like a stereo box or something. He's kind of look. He's kind of got a diary or something, in what looks like a typewriter or something. And that's really cool. Is you can interact with the curtains. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It doesn't do anything, but. Just being able to interact with the curtains is a really cool detail. Just right off the bat. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours, um, uh, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. My guess is you probably haven't known her all that long. I don't know. Her name is Luca, not to be confused with Luca Tim. <laughs> That's right, Luca. Don't forget, she invited you to see her new invention. Run right along now and be back before dinner. Can you talk to her again before you leave? Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200G, right here. Not too bad of a secret, I guess. A little more money for your pockets. Look, baby, got a kiss in my Oh, it's too cute. 
I am impartial to both um dogs and cats, but personally I'm kind of more of a um a cat person despite the fact that I voted for Team Dog and Splatfest once upon a time. <laughs> so glad that um Splatfest is gone. Oh people did not um, treat Splatfest like it should. I know about that. Enough about that. It's gonna leave skirt and have fun at the fair. As Carnell's been yelling at me, GET ON WITH IT! Yes, get on with it! Yeah, get on with it! <laughs> Alright, here we are. Look at the Miami Affair, have fun. There's quite a bit of different things that we can do here while we're here at the fair. First of which are these dolls. The uh, market won't have anybody there in the actual market. They're, they're all set up here in um, the Miami Affair. Such as the item guy. Now, the Sonic right here, they're basically your um, basic HP recovering items. Heal, pretty self explanatory. It, rec it, it recovers status afflictions, we'll go over that later. Revive, also pretty self explanatory. It revives any fallen party member in battle. Useless to us right now. And shelters. Not only do these uh, restore HP and MP at anywhere you can possibly save, now the text here says save points. But, in reality, you can do it anywhere you can save. Yeti! That's not an interesting you can do it anywhere you can save. <laughs> no matter. Basically, any place you can save, not just save points, but anywhere in the overworld. You can restore HP, MP, and status inflictions on your party, which is a really good item right there. But, since we're done with that, I just want to show off the, um, all these different stoles. This guy sells armor. This guy sells weapons. That's what I made for Cadillac to just finish the race. Okay, here we got the Sail Runner, Green Ember, Cadillac, and GI yeah, Jogger. I'm gonna talk to this guy before the race starts. Tip, guess who the winner's gonna be. Alright, I am gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Um, it's random whoever wins, no matter they're what? Just like, the winner is always gonna be randomized. Uh, Yeti. Mommy is on you, Green Amber. All right, now the race will begin. Let's see, it's getting neck and neck here. Holy cow, this is a really close race. <laughs> That's flipping through one another. That's. <laughs> oh my God, Green Amber! Green Amber might take it. Nope. It's a GI jogger. <laughs> the Kellogg was that far behind. Holy cow. That's what there is. GI jogger. Yep. That was a really close race. Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, you want to go ahead and... Uh, how am I able to... Wait, am I able to walk right through this girl? Are you, are you for real? Uh, some tells me this girl wasn't programmed properly. Such as MPC, so what I'd say. Where's our busy racing, so then we'll talk to you. I don't know. The next button, one face in the bell. Judge your distance carefully, and press the second button. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try this. Yeti! really done this before so I have no idea how this is supposed to work or even if it does work. Alright here we go. Can I go up to it and there you go. Press it I'll put one silver point in your card. Now you can do this to keep get, keep grinding up uh, silver points. If you're the furthest away you can get, get, get you can call the bell every time. It's a nice little way to get um, some more points if you really want to. There's many different things like this that uh, you can do to gain some more points. This tip, for example, you'll need at least 10 silver points to play this. If um, you can guess any AM NPC by its proper name, 
And uh, I believe they can get more silver points in return. Since I don't have enough uh, silver points at the moment, I won't be able to show that yet. But I will go back and play that game just for the sake of showing it off. Yeti! Also, something I want to show here. Notice this girl. Let's keep running around in a straight line. If you run or walk in her path, she'll walk around you. I don't see this noted in a lot of LPs, actually. The fact that um, if you just stand in a race, she'll walk around you. You have to walk right into her. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. She's five off her pants. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Now you want to go and talk to her before I pick it up. No, don't tell me I lost it. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Talk to her first and then get to and then get the pendant. Yes, you may have it back since it has a lot of cinema value and all. Also, I like how, I like how the flags here have a sword on them. <laughs> that is a really nice little detail here. I come to see the hustle. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a lot of place here. You kind of also look a little bit out of place. Do you mind if I walk around with you for a while? Sure, I'll see why not. Fair true gentlemen! Oh, by the way, my name is Er... Meryl! Yay, you're my favorite water type! Combination of bulk and power! No, not really. <laughs> I wish. Seriously though. Meryl with a huge power ability is a really good Pokemon. Um, Meryl, and your Chrono, a nice name. Please meet you now. Lead on. Alright, now going here, I believe yeah, you can trade 10 silver points for 50 GD. I guess it's not bad if you want to grind up a little bit of money early on. That's not the best money grinding tactic in the world. No time to talk. I'm just sitting up for my lunch. Yeah, uh, you enjoy your lunch. A good portion of stuff that I'm doing here does impact a scene that um, we're going to be seeing later on. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm stuck. Yeah, the problem with this cat is it does not follow you very well. You have to talk to it. If you get stuck like this, you have to talk to it again to scare it off, just so you can leave. Uh, that hurt! I don't say I'm more of a cat person, but jeez! That's nuts! Okay, leaving the uh, okay, leaving this area well reset its location, so you can keep trying again and again. But you want to turn sort of early, I guess. And cat, cat, come on! Uh, nope, no, no. Of course, I failed to pay attention after the frustration from that failure. Of course. Now what you're gonna do is lead the cat over to this little girl right here. You brought back my cat. Thank you. So sweet, Chrono. Okay, the only place you can get uh, silver points is. And I've only been able to do this maybe one time by animation. Soda Kelton Contest! If you can guzzle eight cans, yeah, it's only five silver points, so it's. If you're really good at button mashing, I guess it's sort of worth it. But. All the times that I've attempted this and only succeeded once, I was pretty disappointed. But this area right over here! This area never dis disappoints me to go into. Check this out. A prehistoric dance, how enchanting! Here I just want to four buttons to, um, get a different pose. Like for instance, the left shoulder button. We're just laughing it out. Right shoulder button. What was that? <laughs> Square button. 
Wow, look at Meryl over here. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. That, that looks more like a dance than anything else. And Chrono, what are you doing to Meryl? Okay, I won't go there. In all seriousness though, this little girl right here is just a tutorial for you, just tell you the um, circle button is just dashing around. Which is what I've been doing. Jurassic Rhythm! What's really cool is that these dancers right here, not only are these guys dressed apart, but they have a couple of bones and they're banging a log with it. This is one of my favorite details in the entire game, hands down, and I WANT THIS PIZZA! WHY CAN'T I HAVE THIS PIZZA? WHY ARE YOU TELLING ME NO, CHRONO? GIVE ME THAT PIZZA! No, not really. Okay, it's just a graphical detail. <laughs> so, that is my favorite detail in the game. Even while going there, it does absolutely nothing. Oh, well. You may want to go ignore that man's lunch. You can take it if you want. You can affect the upcoming scene by doing that. But personally, I'm not gonna do it. Keep going if you want to demo Lucas Battle Robot Trainer. So yeah, so we keep going to the right. We all get a good taste on what battling is like in this game. Tell me, Castor, I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Yay, we're getting rewarded for violence! No seriousness though, it's a robot, so no harm done. Got the hole! Yeah, this is, this runs under an active time battle system. There's two different battle systems. I'm playing on an active, in my opinion, the only way you can play in this game. Or you can play in Final Fantasy V mode. In which case, while you're going through menus and selecting your attacks, the flow battle will be come, come to a halt. So, yeah, if you find it easier to play that way, you can go ahead and play that way. But I'm just playing on active mode. It doesn't become relevant later, but notice how um, Gato is moving around. That becomes very important for the flow of some battles later on. I'll go more to, in, I'll go more to that later. I lost you one here, 15 points though, wasn't that fun. <laughs> he gives us silver points by punching us. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Alright. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna go and uh, I guess get 50 p. Right, right, I guess I'm gonna get 50 key right here while I'm here, I guess. You've seen everything there is, what, the, what, there was in the fair. Except for this guy. I something from Melkor, the swordsmith. Yeah, we're going to do that. There, this game has a fair amount of biblical references, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, kind of odd coming from an atheist, but oh well. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Iron Blade for Chrono. What's kinda cool in, in a little bit of a time saver is that you can, um... While in the shop you can, um... Equip it. E equip the weapon you buy. And I guess sell some stuff. It does shave a little bit of time off your hands, but... It's not all that special. Yes, there's less minis you have to go through. I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. By the way, can you could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? I guess I could say I'll no. You may not think it at first, but that actually does have a pretty big impact on the scene later on. Right, come on, talk to you, please. Thank you. This lady's career, they say people hear Lenny's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. I know, I'm having a great time. Lucas the Vice is all set up, she's at the north end of the square. Alright, talk to you. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. I wasn't blow like all the others. 
So she basically has a um a bad track record of being a hor horrible inventor. Alright, there's one uh, uh, there's one NPC of interest I want to talk to, and this this one. Tina has been through a lot, like the like the war against Magus 40 years ago. This is an NPC. Of, uh, this is an NPC of interest. Gonna want to keep this in mind. Just say, thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Yeah, we're gonna want to keep the um, war against Magus in mind, cause it becomes relevant pretty shortly. For now, let's try to head over to the east and she's gonna stop us because she wants some candy. You know what, true gentlemen, we're just gonna take her over here. Let her take her time. Let her look through all the different kinds of candy there is. Let her see what she wants to get. Alright, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Thanks for waiting. We gotta be the gentleman. We gotta wait for the lady. I sure hope that lady will be waiting for us. I mean, fair is fair. Equality is equality, right? Right. Step right on up. Any of you who have the time and the courage, our super dimensional warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get to right here. It's a masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Beautiful is right, especially in the opening cinematic. <laughs> Lucas' inventions never work right. How about you? Check out that girl's glasses. She can probably see the backside of the moon with them. <laughs> like how two or three people are fixated on her glasses. Chrono! My, what beautiful pixelated eyes you got there. Seriously. Where have you been? No, one's a, no one wants to try the telepod. What about you? Looks like fun. I'll watch you try it out. Sure. Just stand back and watch. Not even Meryl has faith in her inventions. <laughs> just, just hop on the left pod. Screw you. I'm going opposite. I'm going on the right pod. I'm going to teleport to the left pod. Fire up the machine, Luca! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! No, we need to jump on the left pod. All systems on. He's activating it by whacking him with a hammer! <laughs> I don't know why, but I, can't, I find that kind of funny, actually. <laughs> you get an energy transfer. <laughs> yeah, whacking stuff with a hammer activates stuff. I have to remember next time I turn on my Wii, I'll have to whack it with a hammer and turn it on. No, that's not how things work. Wow, well, that was great. I guess even her inventions have to work sometimes. Wow, look at sick burn. So how is it? Wanna try it again? I guess you could try it again, but we really want to talk to Meryl now. What a kick! I wanna try it too! Huh? Hey Chrono, how can you pick up a cutie like her? We didn't pick her up, she's on the ground! <laughs> okay, I had to! Hang on Chrono, I'll be right there! Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Okay, I know beauty is a very subjective thing, but... Luca is the true vision of loveliness. Look at her, her, her nerdiness. Her nerdy, nerdy-ish nerd face. Okay, I'm a sucker for the nerds. I'll fully admit, I'm a sucker for the nerds. I really am. Don't go away, I'll be right back. After these wide messages. You're sure about this? It's still time to change your mind. No way, throw that switch. Okay, everyone, let's give her a big, great, big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. 
Oh, what's going on? Mirror music is playing, and her is reacting. What's happening? Independent. It's it's independent. Huh? Oh no, she's being sucked into a portal! Oh god, where is she? Show's over, folks, that's how long now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? She disappeared. Could have been a telephone. Or field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we gonna do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Only one thing to do. Going after her! Chrono! You're actually going to do it? What a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to take you. I can't sit with you. Or we have any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. A pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to a corner and brace yourself. All systems on. Get an energy transfer. Power to pull. Roger. More! Give me more power! Give me more power! I need more power! Okay, I'm not gonna turn. Okay, I'm not gonna do that any longer beyond this point. Roger. There we did it. Let's do it. I'll follow you after I know where we're wrong. Good luck, Chrono. Hope you don't mind me being quiet there for a moment. I just wanted to let you just take in the awesome soundtrack. Anyway, leaving the forest, I guess, area-ish, we get attacked by blue imps. It, I'm getting a critical right off the bat. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. Overkill! No, seriously, so, um, these blue imps are really basic enemies. They're not all that tough to take down. So I take you out. Very, very, very nice. Each battle, you get some money as your reward, experience, and tech points. What those basically do is unlock different abilities that you get throughout the game. Basically, the gist of this game, you already know these techniques, but getting enough tech points lets you actually use them. That's kind of how it works. And as far as this LP is going to be going, I'll only be showing enemies that we haven't seen before and required enemies. That's going to be about it, because otherwise it's going to be boring as hell. Okay, go ahead and take you out. Hey, it's not bad. We got our first tech. Cyclone. For the most part, text like this is going to be um, area, uh, area of effect. And, and I'll be sure to show each and every one as we get new abilities. Like right here we have um, an accessory power glove. And what this does is increase attack power. Now, even though um, Chrono is more of a slow of a speedster and not so much of a powerhouse, I always like to give him a power glove. 
Personally, I'm kind of, kind of, um, kind of more a fan of offensive chrono than I am anything else. Oh, there we go. They're gonna be. You two are jerks, man. Kicking around that Rolo, and then again, I guess Rolos are into that kind of thing. Like, kind of roly-poly kind of creatures. They do roll up in a shell, and I guess their shell can't be hurt that way. So I guess they kind of... I guess they seem to like it, I guess. I don't know. They're weird. Rolly! Okay. Now, what this does is target one foe and all foes around the target you're initially targeting. This is a really, really quick skill. Ah, this is a really, really good skill as it actually makes quick work of weak enemies early on. I'm a big fan of this skill. But anyway. That about does it. We did suffer on the fair. And unfortunately, um. We have no idea where the heck we are, but. Everything seems familiar in its placement. Rory? We'll find out in the next episode. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we'll do a little bit of exploring and hopefully find out where we are. See you guys then.